here with Coach Dooley. Coach, you've got a week coming up where you're, you'll travel to Avila, uh, then take on first place of Angel. Uh, but you're coming off a nice home victory over Culver Stockton. Um, and what do you hope your team takes away from that victory as you prepare for these games coming up? Well, obviously, you know, hopefully they gain some confidence off of it. I thought we played, you know, pretty well for um, last week. You know, we had the first game on Thursday up at Benedictine, and, you know, despite the slow start that we got off to the first five minutes, weren't ready to play, and credit Benedictine, they did some nice things and put us in a hole. You know, but I thought our kids battled back, and for, the, you know, the rest of the 35 minutes or so, they really competed and gave ourselves a chance down the stretch. And then um, on, on last Saturday versus Culver, I thought our guys uh, – attention to detail and focus was really good um, on both ends and, and, and did some nice things offensively, shared the ball, and as a result, made some shots. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can build on that and going into uh, another tough stretch here this week with uh, Thursday at Avila and then Saturday um, at home versus Evangel. Taking on a couple of the, the top players in the conference as well um, with Avila, Cedric Johnson. Um, talk about, you know, the way, the way he plays and, and, and how he kind of leads that Avila team. He does. Uh, you know, the, the, the thing about Cedric, he, he, you know, he does everything very well. Um, you know, he can score the ball. He rebounds. He's, uh, you know, he passes it well. He gets a lot of assists. I think he leads them in just about every single category. Um, and then, you know, he's up there, I think, at the top of our league, if not in the nation, in steals. So he does it on both ends. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really hard to, to take him completely out of the game. Um, you really can't because he, he can do so many different things. So, you know, he's, when you got guys like that, you just try to contain him. Um, you know, you can kind of do some different things to maybe try to bother him. But, uh, you know, we didn't have much success with that uh, last time here. He, uh, you know, he played well. Um, and he's going to play a lot of minutes. So I think the biggest thing um, when you're going against guys like that is you just got to make a decision. You're going to try to take them out um, of the game and do some things, you know, that, that try to get them – you know, not to score as much or, um, but the problem if you do that is they've got a lot of other weapons and he's, you know, uh, very unselfish and he's willing to let other guys step up and then they can beat you. And there's a lot of different guys, especially from the outside that can hit shots. So uh, we've got to make a decision on how we want to try to attack them. And, and um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to, to just go out and execute the plan. Uh, Saturday against Evangel will take on another uh, player that's, you know, one of the top players in the in the conference and Corey Tillery. Um, he's a big post guy that gets a lot of double doubles. Um, talk about, you know, his play and, and how he, you know, helps run that Evangel team. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a workhorse uh, for them inside. And, um, you know, everything kind of um, starts and, and a lot of times finishes with him. Um, they definitely look for him in the post. Uh, you know, I thought we did a pretty nice job. Uh, defending him the first time, you know, I think he only had like five buckets, but we fouled him a lot and he went to the line. I think he was like 17 for 17, something crazy like that from, from the free throw line. So credit him for, you know, I mean, again, a guy that's a good player. Both these guys are, uh, I don't think there's any doubt that they'll be first team all league guys and they'll be all Americans. Um, so, you know, our guys need to step up to the challenge, whether they're guarding them or, you know, or, or just other people on there that they have to always be worried about them. And, and bottom line is this, when you're going against good players, you just got to limit their opportunities. So if they do happen to miss, we make them take a tough shot. We got to make sure we do a good job of cleaning up the boards and, and only give them that one opportunity on that possession. Well, Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck this week. All right. Thank you.